What is going on guys? I try with Ward here. And this right here is going to be the very first episode of my Deus Ex Human Revolution non-lethal no killing, none of that stuff playthrough. And so as you saw at the very beginning of this clip, I'm doing it on the hardest difficulty, so yeah, just letting you guys know. And so this first couple of parts I'll probably speed through. And the cutscenes will be a bit jumpy. I don't know why they just I don't know they don't record very well. I don't I don't know what it is. The gameplay's fine, but just the uh, cutscenes aren't exactly the best. And I will be or I am doing this after I've already played it and I have cut it to where I have already or I've cut it so it's just like one continuous thing. It's not like me dying and failing or anything like that. So it, it's not going to be as like repetitive or anything like that. It'll, it'll just be straight and to the point. And what I'm going to be trying to do is just tell you guys how to do it. I, I'm not the best Deus Ex player, but I mean, I, I can do it. So why not, right? And so I think I'm going to speed this up. Public with this discovery All right, and so now it is sped up a bit. I'm still going to be showing it just in case none of you, none of you have seen the beginning or are not playing this game, and you just want to see it done. Probably won't be skipping every cutscene. Just the first one is very long. It's probably about 15 minutes or so. I, I don't know if that's correct or anything. It just seems like seems like 15 minutes to me. And I've already done like the first 45 minutes of this game already so I don't see the point of doing it normally now so if you want to see the very beginning I'll probably link that video down in the description if you guys want me to which how would I know so I'm just gonna do it anyways if I remember but I probably won't <coughs> sorry about that and so Wow, this is still like five minutes. Not really, it's like three minutes. But I have already beaten this game once on the medium difficulty or whatever. And it, it does get pretty hard at the end. And here, I, I you don't really do much. See, it goes into another pretty much cutscene because you can't control this part. But... I think the story is great. Now, there is one cliched thing, but I'm not going to bring it up just because I think that would be dumb to talk about now if uh, I haven't gotten to it. But I will talk about it once I get to that point in the game, but it's not until pretty late in the game, so we got quite a ways to go. And the last level, it is pretty hard, even though it's not like levels, but I don't know. It, I. It wasn't hard with guns, but I think without guns, it's going to be super difficult, and uh, you guys will see why. And uh, yeah, I, I just think that the the plot is very well thought out and whatnot. So I I, I give this game like a nine and a half, if not a ten, and. I, I don't know. I, I just think it's really well done and got to give props to Eidos or Harvey say in Square Enix. So, again, I'm going to say this one more time. I highly recommend getting this game. And sorry if, it, if I peeked out the mic there. I bumped my desk and the mic is on the desk. But playing, as I was playing this, I, I thought of all the, the dialogue that was said at at this like cutscene type thing and there's a lot of foreshadowing um, if you guys have beaten the game you guys will know what I'm f I'm talking about or anything like or yeah so you, you got I'm not gonna like point it out or anything like that but there is a lot of foreshadowing in this which which is all right because I, I did not see it coming even with this or anything like that and so now I'm about to actually get to play but actually this first mission, it'll probably be one of the harder ones to do stealth, stealthfully, or however you say it, with the LY or whatever, just because you don't have a tranquilizer dart or anything like that, you only have a gun that shoots bullets, of course, and 
to get the achievement and to do what I want to do, I can't kill anyone, and so that pretty much doesn't help me out at all. So, I, I don't know, or I'm, I don't think there was another gun, I don't know, because you don't have a HUD on this either, so you, you can't really do anything, and you're not augmented yet, so you can't, like, take them down with uh, the Q button, which is, I'm playing on PC, of course, which is, like, the takedown. You can't do that yet because you're not augmented yet. So it, I, I found this pretty difficult, but then once I got augmented, I found it not exactly easy, but just easier, and I was able to handle handle it better than what I do now. Because what I do now is, as you will see, I just run by him. I don't do anything. Like I, I, tr I don't, I don't think I show it to you guys, but I do try and take him down once. But I think it didn't work, and then he killed me. But I don't think I'm showing the, that, but I might. Who knows? But, yes. So now, I'm um, just walking around seeing what all I could do without the HUD because I didn't really explore anything the first time I played this just because it was the first time I was playing this and I didn't really know what to do. So I was just kind of like, oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? And, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Uh, you're allowed to kill three people, all three bosses that you have to kill, so... I will be killing that guy that just chucked that guy into the wall. And I will be killing two other people. At least that's the plan. And I don't know how long this is going to take me. Uh, I played for about an hour today. Hour, hour and 15 minutes or so. So, I don't know how long it will take. Now, I looked on Steam and it said it took me about... 13 hours to beat the game with, while shooting, but I, I'm guessing it's going to take well over that, so there'll be quite amount of videos, and here's the first part of me just running by. Uh, I don't... I'm trying to remember if this was the guy that I tried to melee. I don't think it was. I think it's the next room that I tried to melee someone in, but we shall see, and I'll, I'll probably be able to remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, this was the part but I, I'm not going to show it, I don't think, and I should probably just stop talking about it if I don't show it anyways. But as you'll see, I just kind of run by him, and actually, hold on, I think I screwed up cutting this, so you guys might not be hearing this. But if you guys are, um, I might just be going crazy. I'm trying to edit this pretty well, not like professional editing or anything like that, but... No, I think I do try and... Oh, wait, I do show it, but he doesn't kill me. That's right, that's right. And so I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And so I just think, and then I'm like, hmm. Huh, might as well book it since I can't take him. So that that's my suggestion. Uh, again, I don't know if you have any other weapons. I don't think you can because you can't open up the inventory. And I tried scrolling. I think I did. I can't exactly remember. But... Nevertheless, uh, jump cut there because I saved it, even though there was a save right there. And so here in this room, there's, uh, I think, four or five people. Um, there's three. Maybe there are just three. But I almost die here, and I got lucky. I don't know how I would have done this because they saw me right away. They saw me through the window, and that was just unlucky. But I, I got lucky, <laughs> and I got around them without them killing me. And then this next room, I actually, I think this is the way you do it, legitly, if you're going to do it while, without, while out, without shooting, because I use cover very well in this room coming up here. So I think this is the way you do it in this room. Uh, last two rooms, I just kind of ran through it and didn't worry about it, but there are way too many people in this room to just run by. As we'll see, uh, they bust open the door, two come running in, and then I think three five or six of them end up coming in in the end so it's kind of a lot to deal with without shooting or killing anyone and sorry I'm a little a little gassy just cuz I don't know why but here I thought about going right up the middle as you will see I, I think I peer out yeah I peer out this way and now I'm thinking like, hmm, maybe I could just run through that, but then I saw all, all these desks and stuff that I could probably hide behind, in which I do hide behind, and I just circle around them. I, I think they get a couple of shots on me at the end while I just run for the door, but I, I don't think I really come close to dying at all, and it doesn't take very many bullets to kill in this game. Uh, I, 
I don't think I really talked about that. But yeah, you you die pretty fast, especially on this difficulty. Um, and that guy was being stubborn and thought about running there, but or I think I do actually. I I can't really remember. Even though I only I just played this 